guys, welcome to episode 18 of Bucket for Beginners. In this episode, I'm going to go over interfaces. It has been a long time since I've done a video. Um, and I wanted to, <laughs> before I say anything else, I got to say, today was my last final exam. And I just, it's like all that weight of college semester courses is gone. It's, oh my god, it's fantastic. Wonderful. So I'm ready to get back into programming. I haven't been actually coded in a long time. Um, probably about a month or longer. Um, so excuse me if I'm a little rusty on these first couple of videos. Gotta get get back into the flow of things. So I want to go over how to use multiple classes for your commands. Um, because it makes your code a lot cleaner. And I know I've had at least like six people ask me how to do this. But before we do that, you have to understand what an interface is. Um, now, there's a lot to interfaces. They're a very like um, higher level part of Java. It's very object oriented in style. But I'm going to give you the basics of interfaces, just so you understand what you're doing, because that's all that's what I'm about. About you guys understanding what you're writing, not just copy and pasting. So. First off, an interface is very similar to a class, except all that an interface does is it provides a set of rules that a class which implements it has to abide by. So for example, our turtles class here implements the listener interface. Um, the listener interface is part of the bucket event package or whatever. And this um, this is actually not a good example because there's no required methods in here but to illustrate what an interface is I'm gonna actually make one so we're gonna to go to our package we're gonna make a new interface I'm gonna call this my interface now we've been making uh, methods this whole time and as you know a method has a header it has like the public um, void blah, and usually you would do your public void stuff and then you give it, you know, this is where your code goes, right? But with an interface, all you're going to do is give it a set of rules. So, let's, uh, we're going to make two methods. So, we're going to do uh, public void do stuff. Now, instead of opening up brackets, you're going to put a semicolon at the end. And, it's, and that's done. And you'll see you'll see why in a second. Next, we're going to do public. Uh, we'll return a string, and we'll call it get stuff. Okay, and that's it. Now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to implement this interface from our other class. So, the class turtle it extends Java plugin. Now you can only extend one class because it extends means that turtles is a subclass. Turtles, remember, is a Java plugin. But now you can implement as many interfaces as you want. So we're going to implement listener. We're also going to implement, and I'll show you listeners down the road. Don't worry, they're very important. You can implement listener, and we're also going to implement my interface. Now, if you notice, this is going to show up as an error because we, um, this interface tells this class what rules it has to abide by and in this case we told it that it has to have these two methods inside of it so if you go to here it's gonna want you to add unimplemented methods and there they are there's our do stuff and there's our get stuff and you might be asking why you would need to do this you know like why would you um, just like what's the point in extending or in implementing an, in, an interface when you could just write the code in or write the methods in here because what you're going to do here is you're going to you tell the um, the interface tells the class what methods it has to have but then each class can have its own code for what actually goes in the method so the reason this is good is because you can actually use interfaces as a type of class this is kind of difficult to explain but when you get to the next video that I'm going to do right after this it's going to make a lot of sense because it lets you like I could have um, 
named stuff, and I can make stuff equal to any class that implements this interface. So this stuff, it doesn't matter what um, what class this is, it's going to have the do stuff and the get stuff uh, methods. So I know this probably doesn't make sense yet. This is this is something that took me a while to understand. So don't get frustrated with it. Next video, it's going to make a ton of sense. Um, but there, there really is anything else that I can explain with it yet. So until then, I'm actually going to go record it right now. So I will see you guys next video. Bye-bye.